Now to a story about one woman's desire to help others during the pandemic and how it ended up making a difference for people going through a difficult time. Here's NBC 5's Leanne Trotter. Like many of us, when the coronavirus pandemic kicked in, Ruth Ann Aves knew she wanted to do something to help. And I knew I could sew face masks, but there was some controversy about whether they were really going to be helpful in the hospital setting. And they were like, no. And then it was like, yes. And finally, they were like, yes. So she looked online and found a face mask pattern. She says it takes about 20 minutes or so to make one mask. So you have to do the cutting and then the pinning and then the sewing, you know, so it's a process. Ruth Ann put a call out on social media looking for people who were looking for masks and a therapist from here at Shirley Ryan Ability Lab responded. It's ironic because Ruth Ann volunteers at Dive Heart, a nonprofit that teaches people with disabilities how to scuba dive. Me, I'm a certified scuba um, buddy and so I go into the water with the disabled people and help them in any way that they need. Last summer, she spent time in Mexico helping Chris Block learn to dive. He did his rehab at Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. So when the therapist saw her post, Christy said, yes, we can use these at the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. I was like, oh, I know Chris's story. Chris spent four months there rehabbing after his accident. So what a great thing. Ruth Ann has made more than 80 face masks for the Ability Center and is working on others for friends and family. We're probably going to be wearing face masks for quite some time and there's definitely a need and um, I'm always happy when I can help solve a need in any way and help out. Lee Antrotter, NBC5 News.